All parties in the matter of Navarro versus Becky. Step forward. Raymond Navarro is suing Alicia Becky for actual and punitive damages as a result of a dog attack. Mr. Navarro, the defendant was selling something that you were interested in buying. You went to her house to look at the item, which was some sort of a speaker. And it is your claim that when you were there, one of her dogs bit you. Yes, I know. And Miss Becky, I don't know what she says. I think she, what she's saying is it was your fault. And she does call it a bite. She calls it a nip. On what date did this happen, sir? December 29, 2015. You went to her house? Yes, Your Honor. Did you go to the front door or to the garage? In the garage. Garage open or closed? Yes, it's open, wide open. And according to your complaint, there were two large dogs in the garage. Is that right? Yes. But neither of those dogs were the dogs that bit you? Yes, Your Correct? Honor. Yes, correct. It was a third dog? Yes, Your Honor. Now, where did the third dog come from? comes from inside the house. Who opened the door? She opened the door. What did you open the door for? Because he asked me to put my St. Bernard into the house. When you opened the door, the other dog came out. Well, he, I asked him to stay outside Just the an, I didn't ask okay. you that question. What I asked you was when you opened the door, the other dog came out. Yes. The Australian Terrier was the dog that bit or nipped him, depending upon whether you are the victim or the owner of the dog. If you're the victim, it's a bite. If you're the owner, it's a nip. Do you have photographs of the nip? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have a doctor's report? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to take a look at both. When did you contact the defendant about your medical bills? It was my lawyer who contacted her. And was there any resolution? The lawyer uh, requested for a meeting, so there would be a resolution, but she never mm -hmm. came in. Anything you want to tell me? Yes, Your Honor. He asked me to bring the dog into the house. The dog could have stayed right where it was. No, the, it was the dog leashed went, just on... The dog, not the dog that bit him. Yeah. Okay, so... If I didn't open up the door, the dog would have never got out. And if he would have... <laughs> <laughs> Your defense is that he asked you, according to you, to put the other dog inside because the dog was barking. And you accommodated him by opening the door. But I also asked him to stay out on the driveway, not to come into my garage. When I turned around, I unleashed the dog, turned around to put the dog into the house, and he was behind me. The dog started barking. He That's started not screaming. the dog that bit him. The dog in the house started barking. He started screaming, ah, ah. I turned around, I told him to stop. Stay right there, stop. Because you alert a dog, you show a dog you're scared, they get on a defense. So when he started screaming. I have dogs, they don't get on the defense if you show them you're scared. Well, he started screaming. Maybe your dog. The dog do. ran out and he, he, and the dog nipped him. Fine, judge him for the plaintiff in the amount of $500. We're finished, thank you.